everybody. So today we're going to have another tasting of my Nugget Citra beer. Now this is a small batch, uh, 1.25 gallons going into the carboy. Uh, two pounds, eight ounces of Pilsner malt. It's raw premium Pilsner malt. Our boil, 0.16 ounces of Nugget at 60.25 ounces of Citra at 10. 0.5 ounce, or 0.25 ounces of Citra at 5. Three days into fermentation, 0.25 ounces of Citra. This was bottled on 1214, 7.72%. Let's go ahead and open it. Good hiss, good smoke. Go ahead and get it into a glass. See lots of bubbles. This did use eight of the small pearl tablets. Uh, the BSG um, carbonation tablets is what I used. Uh, good head. Now that's surprising since the last two I had uh, didn't really have any. Off-white colored head, almost translucent, almost coming up as a yellow in there. Small medium bubbles, uh, not even a half a finger of head. Let's get some of these bubbles off here if we can. Color. Um, lighter golden yellow, uh, lots and lots and lots of bubbles coming up more than any of the other ones I've done today. Um, it is got a chill haze on it. I can make the outline of the light box. Can't see the bell sticker. Hopefully that's not too loud. Uh, I can see the bell sticker. Now that I got all those bubbles off there, I can see the bell sticker in there. Let's go ahead and smell. More of an earthy fruitiness, like a, a, a faint, earthy, low line fruitiness. Maybe, maybe a touch of bitterness, like rind bitterness in there. Um, I'm there, there's something else in there. I almost want to say toasted bread but maybe it's like some cracker coming off from that Pilsner, but it's not like it didn't just kick out in my brain and say cracker or uh, toasted bread, anything like that. But there is maybe like a, a soft dough. Yeah, something like that. If anything, I would have to say that that's probably coming from the nugget since I've just did the warrior version and I did another warrior version um, before and I didn't get that, but we'll have to make some more um, nugget beers to find that out. Let's go ahead and taste. Smoother. I would say like a, a little floral earthy fruitiness in there. Um, this one is definitely smoother than the Warrior. Uh, I'll do a side by side, but the the profile, it's almost like there there's some extra sugar in there. And it's like there's not enough bitterness in there. Yeah, it's like a a floral earthiness up front just a hint maybe mixed with a little bit of cracker uh, then you get a light fruitiness generic fruitiness uh, some sweetness it's gone aftertaste is more of a sweeter flower than anything which is weird using citra for all the bubbles it does seem like it's undercarbed a little bit uh, we went from 15 bricks down to six bricks, so I, I don't know where that that kind of sweetness is coming from. Yeah, I think it tastes good. I'm not a big floral earthy fan, so this is definitely not one that I would make again. Um, but 
I, I guess we could say as of right now that maybe that nugget is bringing in some of that floral earthiness. Now, um, on my Nugget Centennial, that batch was bad. I know I did a video of the first tasting. I just tried the, the next one. So I don't know if it is the caps because in the first one I was thinking it was the caps. Um, but maybe I didn't sanitize correctly or something. Um, but that one was bad. So this is technically my first one with Nugget. So I'm not sure what I'm going to get out of Nugget for the profile. Um, but yeah, for somebody that would like a, a floral earthiness, I almost want to say like a dirty fruit. with some sweetness more floral now um yeah it's not bad i think somebody like i was saying that does like floral and a little bit of earthiness would probably like this it almost tastes like this is this was done with a first wort hop like that nugget is smooth and the citrus too but you're not i didn't do a first wort hop with that but it's it's very smooth uh profile going across there so yeah, not bad, just not one that I would make. So if you enjoyed this homebrew review, check some more out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.